Hello, my name is Suzanne Lynch, and my second teaching subject is accounting. And I'm going to do my podcast on trade and profit and loss accounts. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, fellow teachers. Today we will look at teaching students about trading and profit and loss accounts. Why would we do this? Well, business studies is part of the curriculum for years. It is the neighbor students make informed decisions in everyday business. The key is to contribute to students' everyday understanding of the world of business and encourage a positive attitude to the business and develop appropriate skills in that field. In addition, to provide each student with appropriate level of economic and accountancy literacy to provide a foundation for students which could lead to studies of the leave insert in business economics, accountancy and employment or further studies in the business field. Also encourage students to have an interest in a positive attitude to the business world and enable students to gain an understanding of commercial activities. Therefore, developing student skills of communication, use of technology and recording of information and transactions through key skills Students will develop skills in numeracy, literacy and accuracy when recording transactions into the business trading account. Finally, this enables students to integrate the knowledge and skills from the learning of the trading account in a practical and useful way. Today our learning intentions are Explain the purpose of a combined trading and profit and loss account Distinguish between the trading and profit and loss account and develop the key skill of managing information and thinking. So today we're going to look at trade and profit and loss accounting. Today is the 9th of the 1st, 2016. Our key skill that we're going to focus on today is managing information and thinking, which is gathering, recording, organizing and evaluating information and data. A few keywords and definitions. Trading account records all the details about the goods or services that were bought and sold by the business during the previous year. A trading period refers to the length of time the final accounts are prepared for. Gross profit and gross loss. If your sales are greater than the cost of sales, the business has made a gross profit. If the cost of sales is greater, the business has made a gross loss. Well, just before, after I introduce the topic that we're going to do, just a little activity before we start this. Um, in groups or individually, I'd ask the students to write down in the first two columns what do they know about this topic already, what do they want to know about this topic after they're finished, and then we go back to the third column when we finish and write down what did we learn about the topic. It's just a little goal and just for the students to know what we need to aim for. In order to guide my students, I will give each student this final account graphic organizer, as this is a guide and shows step by step in the process of doing a trading and profit and loss account. This will also help my students with special education needs and also the gifted and talented students, as this is a guide and uh, structure in completing the final accounts. So firstly, I'll be going through the entries into the trading account and uh, I'll be going through their keywords and their meanings. Once I go through all the keywords and their meanings, I will do an activity with the kids called Show Me Boards, where they get a show me board each and I'll put up a definition on the board and they need to tell me whether it's sales, purchases, pur purchases returns, sales returns, etc. And if they are getting it right, that means we can move on and do a few examples. So now we're able to start practicing a few trading accounts. So I normally put this template on the board with my projector and I also give out templates of this uh, layout for students, especially for the students with special education needs, it helps them focus and understand the structure to begin with before they have to learn how to do it for their junior cert. But we also can be able to bring in our key skills from managing information, where we're going to be thinking about what we're doing with the information, how we're going to record it, how we're going to evaluate it, and this also brings in cross-curricular learning, such as math. So 
So now, once we're able to do the trading accounts, we're going to move on now and understand the second part of it, which is the profit and loss account. And this is about gains and expenses. Once we can understand the keywords and the definitions of the gains and expenses that go into the profit and loss account, we basically go along and combine the trading account with the profit and loss account and do two question combined. So here is a few keywords and their meanings which goes into the profit and loss account just to make students understand which is an expense and which is a gain so it can be put into the proper area within the account. So now by bringing the two accounts together, the trading account and the profit and loss account, we will see that we're, instead of having a gross profit, now we're going to get the net profit, the money we actually take home at the end of the day from all our costs and expenses and gains added and subtracted. This is where the key skills comes into account and your maths, cross curricular maths. So just a recap on the learning intentions and some important points. Number one, it's an important duty to carry out a trading account to see how much profit and loss the business is making throughout the year. A trading account shows the gross profit or gross loss after the cost of sales. And three, the profit and loss account shows the net profit or loss at the end of the trading period, which can be took home. And number four, we develop the key skill of managing information and thinking throughout preparing a trading account. Now that we came to the end, I just want to say thank you for listening to my podcast and have a good day.